everybody. Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Cupid. I am your host, Marla Martinson, and I'm back with the angel lady, Stephanie Barton. Hey, Marla. Great to see you. Thanks, you too. Go, angels. Yeah, angels. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. So it is 2016. I cannot even believe it. It came that year when you look back and see what you did last year. I hope you guys did something because I really flew by. And Stephanie and I want to talk about what the angels want us to know for 2016, how we can start the year positively. I mean, we have election coming up. There's a lot of negativity uh, spewed back and forth between the candidates and the news and then the terrorism attacks that have been happening and so there's a lot of negativity and a lot of stress uh, and worry so Stephanie's going to kind of let us know how we can go in calmly clear some energy and make room for some wonderful things to happen in 2016 so take it away well I think it is so tempting especially with the social climate that we're in right now and as you mentioned with elections people are just peddling fear Mm-hmm. Relating on that, you better protect yourself. You need to be worried. Be afraid. And when those negative emotions and those negative thoughts come to us, it's so important to remember this year that we have a choice. That we have a choice. We can buy into the worry and we can spin our wheels in fear, or we can set clear intentions mm-hmm. to focus in our heart, to choose with responsible self care. And then to move forward day by day by day with with love. Mm-hmm. And when we can renew that commitment to ourselves each day and be aware of how we're surrounding ourselves and how we're speaking to others, I truly believe that 2016 is going to be a fantastic year mm-hmm. for everyone, a year of tremendous change and change for good. Yeah, I sure hope so. Boy, yes, it is. Frightening. I mean, I even find myself just even more aware of my surroundings going outside and and Mm -hmm. uh, thinking my husband and I say we've got to go to the gun range and practice, you know, the shooting the gun and just Mm -hmm. because that's all we hear about is is uh, the fear. So and and, uh, you know, rightly so in some ways. I mean, some people have been. Uh, attacked and so we, we nobody wants to be attacked but we don't want to put that focus on it right because what we put focus on perpetuates right we tend to attract the things that we're focused on mm-hmm. so I think there's a difference between being smart being aware mm-hmm. and then being overcome or consumed by the fear so I say absolutely lock your doors and say your prayers yeah say the prayers now okay yeah. Good point, because I even when I get in the car, I say, Archangel Michael, please, you know, protect this this uh, voyage, this trip, this car ride. Uh, I call in the angels for protection a lot. And yeah. how can people maybe who haven't done that before, who've never you called in their angels, what's a simple uh, way that they can use their guardian angels or the archangels for protection on a daily basis? Oh, I think that's such a great question, and that's a true point of power for us as spiritual beings having a human experience. So rather than worrying for someone, immediately give thanks to angels for being with that person. Mm-hmm. Or as you lock your door, say, thank you, angels, for protecting me as I take responsible care for myself. Mm-hmm. So a way to connect with angels in these times of uncertainty is simply to thank them for their strength, for their guidance, for their protection, and for their love. But we've got to meet them halfway. Mm-hmm. They do their part. We are smart and responsible and do our part, too. So it's, it's heaven and earth, and it comes together to create great good. That's so beautiful. And isn't it true that angels, since we have tr- since we have free will, they will not intervene unless we ask? Because I've had some friends who are in some pretty bad uh, financial positions lately. They've had a lot of stress, a lot of uh, difficulty with work. And I did an angel reading for, for uh, a friend and, and they said, but remember, you know, we're here to help, but you have to ask us because yes. they're not gonna, going to step in unless it's life and death situation. So sometimes I think we forget to ask. Absolutely. And, and I encourage people too, working with angels is sort of like a, um, an employee matching funds type situation. So if you're asking for assistance, it's also important that you match that intention with inspired action and effort on your own part. So if you're asking 
for healing and you continue to practice a negative habit, Mm -hmm. it it may not happen the way you want it to happen because you've got to be willing to do your part as well as ask Mm -hmm. for help from the other side. Right. It's a, it is a team effort there. It is absolutely a team effort. We are, we're co-creators. Creators. We're the co-authors in this story. So it's important to take, take that power and use it for our own good. So you guys, something really fun that you can do. Uh, Stephanie does these, uh, not, why do I want to say, but, oh, previews, right? Year long, yes. year previews. So I'm going to get one and she will actually sit down and kind of channel not kind of channel, she'll channel uh, a message for you and type it all up and everything about your year. What is coming up for you? She'll get it through the guides, the angels. So tell us about what you do because um, I'll put the link so you, you guys can contact Stephanie if you want a, a preview of, your, of 2016. Yes, I when I was first asked by clients ne- several years ago about doing forecasts or predictions for the year, I sort of thought, no. But then I went ahead and gave it a chance and gave it a shot and and discovered that it was quite fun and quite inspiring and truly empowering Mm -hmm. because what I do is take a look into the energy and motion for 2016 for each individual. And then I focus on a theme Mm -hmm. or a spiritual gift or a quality that will be significant throughout the up and coming months. And then I examine each month individually month by month by month, to see what the opportunities, what the relationships, the emotional climate will be, so that you have an anticipation and a positive expectation about the gift that will be inherent in the year. Oh, how fun. And then every month you can look back and see what transpired, your prediction, and and what you did. That is so wonderful. I love that. It's a fun thing. And I, I continue to offer it because it's it's been valuable to so many people, not just as a tool for inspiration, but also the, a tool for greater understanding and then a heightened awareness. If you know that there's a new job opportunity coming, you're going to be a little bit more sensitive to what you really want and how you put your resume out there. So it's really empowering for sure. Oh, that's amazing. All right, I can't wait. And I'll let you guys know how mine goes too. All right, well, thanks, Stephanie. And I'll talk to you soon. Go Angels, Go Angels. Go Angels.